10 Americans will be at home with their families this holiday season after a U.S. Venezuela prisoner swap. Four of them were flown here to Miami. It was the largest release of American prisoners in Venezuela's history. CBS News Miami's Anna McAllister spoke to members of the Venezuelan American community here in South Florida to get their take on the trade and joins us from Doral. Dozens of Venezuelans come here to El Adipazo to eat and hang out, but over the last day there's been a lot of conversations about this prisoner swap. And the people that I spoke with say they are not optimistic that this will strengthen relations between the U.S. and Venezuela. A warm welcome home for a group of Americans who were imprisoned in Venezuela. Free at last, free at last, thank God Almighty, free at last. I'm incredibly grateful to be home. Ten American prisoners were released by Venezuela on Wednesday. Four of them were flown to Miami, including former Green Berets Luke Denman and Aaron Barry. They were accused of attempting to overthrow the Maduro government in 2020. We freed American people who were held illegally, and we made a deal with Venezuela at the whole free election. As part of the deal, the U.S. released Alex Saab, an ally of President Nicolas Maduro, who first faced money laundering charges in federal court in Miami back in 2021. But some people are angered by the deal, saying the U.S. government is enabling Venezuela's regime. This actually places more Americans at risk. If you are a regime and you simply want one of your criminals back, all you need to do is go out and nab a couple of uh, Americans, kidnap some Americans uh, anywhere in the world, and this, uh, and this administration is going to be negotiating with you. Many Venezuelans we spoke to here in South Florida share the same sentiment. I find it hilarious that this government has, has things, or this administration thinks, so by playing nice with them, that they're going to play nice back. The prisoner swap was also a move on behalf of the U.S. government to improve relations with Venezuela, a nation that is a mass producer of oil. But Venezuelans we spoke to say this just enables Maduro to continue his authoritarian agenda. Follow the money. They don't care who's in control. They don't care who's in charge. They don't care what's going on over there. The only thing that they're interested in is where can we get oil so we can have cheap oil guys prices for the population in the U.S. Reporting in Doral, Adam McAllister, CBS News, Miami.